I grabbed a 14 inch grapevine and I spray painted it black. Then I went to my local craft store and I found some fairy lights. Start wrapping the wreath with the lights. So now to secure your battery pack, what you can do is just take it, wrap it around itself, place it on the back of your wreath. We're gonna take a pipe cleaner and then just secure like so. Now we have these bat sprays. So we're gonna cut off each bat individually using our wire snips. So we're gonna take our bat pick, dip it in our glue skillet, and then working these adorable bats right into the black grapevine. You can do this with ghosts, you can do this with pumpkins, place them however you would like. So here is how the wreath turned out, you guys, and I absolutely love it. So you can make this wreath easily for less than $10, $15. Grab yourself a tomato cage. For this project, you're going to need a bunch of grapevine. So I began taking apart my tomato cage. So I cut off the bottom hoop and I'm going to zip tie the tomato cage to the wire wreath form. Then I'm going to take my natural grapevine and I'm going to begin by wrapping it in a circle around the base of the wreath form. And using more zip ties, I'm going to zip tie this on. I began to manipulate the tomato cage a little bit. I continued wrapping the grapevine around the tomato cage, working all the way up to the top. For my base, I wanted the brim to be a little bit wider, so I added more grapevine down at the bottom. I finished it off with some wire fairy lights, just wrapping it all around. And here it is on my porch, ready for fall and Halloween, a quirky, natural looking witch hat that also lights up at night because I put the fairy lights on. You are going to grab some toilet paper rolls, grab your hot glue gun and start dripping it off the top and just keep going all the way around each one. And I got these at the dollar store. So you're going to grab your hot glue again and just start dripping it on the inside to make it thick enough to hold your tea light. Then we're going to grab some some black spray paint, let those dry, and then we're gonna drop in each tea light, and you have some spooky, super easy DIY Halloween candles. Who's ready for Halloween? We're gonna take just a basic little black cauldron, and we're gonna mix some chalk paint, and I mixed it with some baking soda. We're gonna grab some potting soil and put it on top of the wet paint, pat it in there, and we're gonna pat some more paint on there, and we're gonna just keep doing this all the way around the pot. Then we're gonna grab some Christmas ornaments. I already took the little tops off of them. Grab some more paint and I just painted that. And then I started adding in all my ornaments. So I just kept adding. Now I added some little twinkle lights. I added some skulls. And it looks like an old stone cauldron that you kind of dug up somewhere. You're going to need some plastic tablecloth, pumpkin pails, and some tomato cages, and some lights. I'm going to start by placing the tomato cage upside down. With the part that sticks into the ground, I'm going to pull them all in together. Next, I'm going to take a pumpkin pail and place it upside down onto all of the prongs. Next, I'm going to take my lights and I'm going to use some painter's tape so that I can hold this in place at the top. But I'm going to wrap the lights around. Next, I'll be using a round plastic table cloth from Dollar Tree. So now I need to make some eyes and I'm going to be using some gaffer's tape here and I've made a template out of a piece of paper. Here are all three ghosts lined up for the trick-or-treaters. Time to head over to the dollar store and grab yourself like a little dollar platter. Grab a little bit of acrylic paint, mix it with a little bit of water, just start dabbing it on there. Go ahead and grab a napkin and then you're going to start actually removing any excess. Let's go to our candle. So I went with a battery operated. Here what we're going to do is we're going to use the flame and melt the crayon onto the candle. Just let it drip on the back of the platter that is dry. Put a hook on the back. So just a little bit of hot glue, flip your platter over, grab a another skeleton hand. I had to cut the back off because I need a lot of flat area. And what you're gonna do is go ahead and grab your hot glue and get it all over there. Put it towards the bottom of the platter, put it on there and just hold it till it dries. Once this dries, we're gonna put our candle on it and there we are, our spooky Halloween candle holder right on the wall. And when the lights go off, oh, it's so beautiful. So the first thing I need to do is remove the label from both sides and I'm gonna remove the lid. Next, I have some plastic spiders and I'm just gonna slide them into the soap. Place the lid back on top. I'm gonna start by placing the skeleton. I'm going to take some cotton balls and fluff them around him and then place those. There we go. I'm using one of those bud bases you can find at the dollar store. I have cut out a shape of a moth, cut a piece of fishing line, place this on the back. So I'm gonna place 
the tape onto the top of the bud vase and then my moth should hang in here. I purchased some candle holders at the thrift store and now I'm going to place my bowl on top upside down. I'm gonna add this color changing LED light. I've got a battery operated votive. Place the wax over the candle. Now let's get decorating. And I hope this inspires you to create some bathroom decor of your own. We're gonna be using these cute little black cauldrons. You can get them at Dollar Tree. We are gonna be taking our sanding block and we are gonna sand down the edges of our little cauldron. I'm doing the same thing to our paper towel holder, acrylic paint, and we're gonna mix it with some baking soda. We are going to go ahead and use our paint mixture. We are gonna take some wire and what I'm gonna do is we're gonna essentially be creating a handle. We are going to take some yarn. I'm just making a knot here. I'm gonna go around and you're just essentially gonna wrap it. We are gonna take our two painted paper towel holders and we are gonna take the dowel that we covered and we are going to be attaching it to our paper towel holders with some wire. So we're just gonna twist, twist, twist and I'm wrapping the wire around. I'm going to be sliding the dowel out from one side and I'm going to be placing my cauldrons on the dowel. We're gonna be taking some electrical tape. So I'm going to be covering up the wire and I'm gonna cover both sides. I hope you feel inspired to try this cute witch's cauldron candy holder. If you have any Christmas ornaments, this is the time they're going to come in really handy. So I've taken some of these ornaments and I'm giving them a light coat of white flat spray paint. And I picked up this cauldron that sits on a base and all of these fun colored ornaments. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut a piece of cardboard that will go right around here. I'm going to use some low temp glue and then I'm going to glue that so that it will not move around. I happen to have this cardboard box and I'm going to set that down in there. I have this Dollar Tree pumpkin. What I'm going to do is just break this apart because I want to just fill in a little space. So you're just going to glue this to the sides of your cauldron and then you're going to glue it to uh, the glue, the ornaments to each other. I got these great little battery operated spider lights. And what I'm going to do is just tuck them down in between our bubbles, which are our ornaments. I have this heavy duty stick on Velcro and I'm going to stick it right on the back. So here is my cord coming down. I put the other piece of the Velcro. So I'm going to be able to stick this right up here and I will still be able to push the button to change the settings. I look forward to sharing this on my table at my Halloween party and I'll see you next time right here on Home Talk.